My journey into becoming a socially engaged artist, it's kind of inevitable. In America, you can't be a person of color, you can't be queer without being politicized. It really was just about embracing myself, embracing the identities that I hold, being willing to put that into my work. I had an epiphany recently about why making multimedia compositions is feeling really satisfying to me as a queer person of color. I realized that it's a way of expressing that experience of like double consciousness. For example, there's a piece called Big Black Condom. The piece is about fetishization of black male bodies. It's also about eroticizing safe sex. There's a couple of different songs that I plan on pairing that piece of visual art with in order to give it a different meaning, a different interpretation. It's been a little painful to try and find spaces where I can really show everything that my work is about. I've been much more intentional over the last couple of years about putting myself in spaces where I can totally be myself without feeling like I have to switch my language for the audience that's in the space at the time. So I had booked my solo show at the 50 Arrow Gallery. I was starting to sort of expand my vision to fill the space, and that comes with a lot of costs. Valley Creates is supporting me in not only purchasing the materials I need to make the work, but also promoting and getting the word out about the show itself. Western Mass has an enormous artistic community, and I've always felt very artistically involved throughout my life here, but it hasn't felt like a career was sustainable here. I think it's really necessary to have community-focused initiatives in rural areas so that the artists there don't have to abandon where they grew up in order to make change.